Tonight, a snake scandal in Florida. The ball is down. What? The ball. The fighting ball. No. No. Oh my God, that guy's going to flip out. Oh my God, why? It was a mistake. How I reminded you 10 uh, times. <laughs> you just killed something that wasn't illegal and it had about $100,000 worth of fucking baby. According to the United States Association of Reptile Keepers or US ARC, this video shows officers with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission accidentally killing a pet boa constrictor that was pregnant with up to $100,000 worth of other snakes. On April 6, 2023, FWC officials raided and slaughtered 34 snakes, including one pet boa constrictor that is not illegal in the state. Now we're referring to this day as the Holy Thursday Massacre. Good afternoon. We got a call that there was a loose pit bull in the neighborhood. I just want to make sure your dog is home. My dog is home. You can hear her right now. She's here. Yeah, well, I still need to come inside and inspect your dog. On, um, I don't understand. I'm a federal officer. I'm going to have to come inside and inspect your dog. And if I don't comply? I'll bury you under the jail. Come on in. Come on. Here she is, she's not out, and she's not running around the neighborhood like I told you. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, ma'am, I'm gonna have to euthanize this dog. For what, why, for what? She's a bully breed, and we just gotta protect the neighborhood. But she's not even a pit bull. Pit bulls are what you guys are prohibiting now, and she's not even a pit bull. She has all of her papers, I sent in what we needed. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, I'm just doing my job. I'm just taking orders, and I'm doing my job. This so is can you please? Can you please hold her down? I don't want to hold my animal down. Just please hold her down so we could make this as smooth as possible. I can't, this this can't make, this isn't right. This isn't right. How are you going to kill this dog? She's not even loose. I can't be a part of this. You're going to have to, you're going to have to do this on your own. I'm going to set up my phone and I'm going to film you guys. But before I go, you are not allowed to touch this dog. This sure. dog is yeah. not a prohibited sure. species. Sure, okay, I'll, I'll, I, I got to do this, please. What did you do? What? Why did you do that? I specifically told you not to kill her. It, it was a mistake. It was a mistake? What do you mean that was a mistake? I told you. Is there any way to... Look, I'm sorry, I'm just this. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. <sighs> so this happened to a gentleman by the name of Chris Coffey and Bill McAdams. Chris Coffey had about 34 remaining uh, reticulated pythons and Burmese pythons at Bill McAdams' facility. The boa belonged to Bill McAdams. Now, these are breeders that have been in the game for a long time. They were putting their kids through college by breeding snakes. They were doing everything to comply with FWC, especially when they decided to outlaw the species of snakes that they were working with. They were giving all the paperwork needed. They were uh, even getting the conditional species permit when needed. And they were even microchipping all of their snakes as directed by FWC. They were being misled to think that they were going to be grandfathered in while they were also trying to liquidate the species that they had. They were trying to liquidate their collection as much as possible, complying with FWC. It wasn't long after that when they were submitting all the paperwork with the list of species that they still had on property as requested by FWC, that they turned around and actually criminalized them for them and actually charged them for the species of snakes that they were keeping. When they were trying to charge Chris Coffey for the species of snakes that he had, they actually sent the court notary uh, to the wrong address. They sent it to the McAdams facility that he never actually received it. With that, they had a warrant out for his arrest. After the warrant out for his arrest, they were basically in a long battle over a year and a half. Chris Coffey had to hire his own lawyers to go up against FWC, which is not a cheap thing to do. 
They took everything from this man, every dollar that they could from this man, and eventually dropped the charges after he completed all of his probation. And we got to keep in mind, guys, like Daniela said earlier, these are all snakes that they had before the bans came into place. And when the bans did come into place, they followed all the, the guidelines that FWC put on them. So they microchipped the animals. You know, they had the conditional species permit when that was a thing. They were led to believe that they were going to be able to grandfather a lot of these snakes. Of course, they are not going to be able to keep all of these snakes if they're not going to be able to breed them and, and make a, a living from them. So he started you know, liquidating his, his collection. Now, when he's liquidating his collection, the FWC gave him a time period which he had to do that. He was past that time period. Instead of extending the time period for him to, to be able to liquidate the rest of his collection, FWC gave him a call. They said that they received some information that there was a loose reticulated python in the area. And then they went to the facility and the rest is history. They wanted to make sure that it wasn't one of his reticulated pythons, even though he had confirmed that all the snakes were accounted for and that, that was, it wasn't his snake. That was just a bust. That was just how they got in the doors. And another thing about these species, these are not like ball pythons and king snakes that you can just rehome to anybody. These are snake species that are capable of growing the size of a school bus. So they need to go to the proper type of facility where they can live out their livelihood. It's not an easy animal. It's to not sell. an easy animal to sell. So the guy needed more time, which is a you know reasonable thing to ask when trying to rehome properly these species of snakes. When they had called him and asked about the loose snake and he had confirmed that it wasn't one of his snakes, they still insisted that they needed to come and check for themselves. When they were at the door, obviously, if Chris hadn't complied, they were willing to take him back to jail. They were willing to arrest him right there on the spot. According to the agency, he was unable to rehome more than 30 of them, which after a lengthy court battle, were killed by those FWC officers on April 6th. My back was against the wall. There was nothing I can do. Coffee told NBC Miami. Obviously, if Chris hadn't complied, they were willing to take him back to jail. They were willing to arrest him right there on the spot. And this guy has been through enough that he cooperated and allowed them in. It wasn't long after that that he realized that this was a raid and that they were there to actually euthanize the remaining part of his collection that were properly enclosed and accounted for. Yeah, guys, and, and the, the thing about this that sucks is that obviously we don't value a boa snake higher than a reticulated python or a Burmese python. The fact that they went in there and massacred all these snakes, they slaughtered them all, doesn't, you know, make anybody feel good that it was, you know, that they find, they, they got a bow and they made a mistake. This is what we have been going through in Florida for the past two years. FWC officers come into our places, they take the re remaining of our animals and they euthanize them or they do whatever they want with them. And there's no say in what, what happens to those animals. A lot of the people that are having to get rid of their animals or even having their animals euthanized are not, you know, criminals. They're not people who have previous violations or offenses. They are just people that had animals that are now illegal and they had them before these laws passed and now they have no way to make a living. We're put in a very extremely difficult situation because we as reptile keepers, as animal lovers are having to see our animals get killed in front of our eyes. And one thing that we didn't mention was when these FWC officers came into uh, Coffee's place, they actually had him hold down the snake the first snake they killed, and after they killed that first snake that he was holding out, he started crying and he couldn't stay there anymore. He left the room and the FWC officers continued to murder the, the rest of these animals. I, I don't understand how we're allowing this to happen, how anybody, PETA, all these animal rights people, how we're allowing this to happen. Because if this was a dog, if this was any other animal, we would be losing our shit. So how is it possible that this is a living breathing, thinking creature. How are we just gonna massacre all these animals when there's obviously other options for them? If you don't want them in the state, fine, okay. Let's get them out of the state, right? There should be some sort of justice done for these animals and for the people keeping them, especially those who kept them before all of these laws were put into place. FWC is supposed to be mandating Florida wildlife. These animals that were just massacred were not wild animals. They're they were all captive, captive animals. Captive bred animals these chris coffee's had them for 10 plus years all bred and, in captivity and this guy had to hold his snake down to have it get shot in the head in his own hands 
And how is that okay? How are we gonna right. let that be? And this isn't the first time something like this happens. This is just the first time that we're able to get footage and prove what is going on in our industry that we're able to tell this story because there have been unfortunate other cases beforehand and unfortunately if we don't do something about it now there will be many other cases like this one as well so what we are asking you guys to do first of all we have to reach out to DeSantis. we have been blowing up his office these last couple of days but we can't stop now we got to make sure that he understands what's going on he gets the message and we want ronnie barreto out of office we don't want him to be one of the commissioners anymore and we want fwc to be held responsible for their actions. Another thing, if you wanna help out Bill McAdams and Chris Coffey with all of this crazy stuff that's going on, I'm going to leave their GoFundMe page down below. This man has, has been stripped of everything, has been fighting legal battles left and right for a couple of years. So the cherry on top is them coming into his place and killing all of his animals in front of him. So we cannot allow this to happen. We need to stand together. We need to make a change. If they get away with this, they're going to keep taking away our animals. And before we know it, we're not going to be able to keep any pets, reptiles whatsoever.